Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna to teach you and show you how to smoothen sharp vocals in FL Studio 20. Let me just uh, highlight this to here and let us uh, play this. Gotta get praising God with my hands up. I gotta get praising God with my hands lift. I gotta get praising God no matter what happens to me. I gotta get praising God. Gotta get praising God no matter what happens to me. I gotta get praising God. I gotta get praising God with my hands. Gotta get praising. All right. So how do we smoothen up vocals in FL Studio 20? So what you do is um go to where your um your vocals are sent to in the inserts uh in my case uh that the vocals are into insert four so in insert four uh look for a plugin that is called um transient this one right here transient processor it's an fo uh, studio plugin a transient processor and let, let me just uh, pull it up transient processor so here is transient processor so once you uh, uh, put it into uh, your plugin chain into your mixer um, let me just put it on so this is how it looks like this transient processor is just gonna um, work on the transients that seem to be uh, very sharp and also those transients that don't really um, those transients that make your vocal sound uh, too sharp these plugins just gonna smoothen that those uh, uh, sharp edges and just make your vocal sound better so um, it has drive has a little bit of some distortion to it and a little bit of some volume it has release uh, the time that how much you want it to like hold on to those transients and also release them and it has gain more volume it has attack how much slow or faster uh, how much you want it to attack slower attack or faster you want it to like attack those transients very fast or you want it to attack those transient uh transients slowly so uh this is the the, the work of this uh knob right there and we have split you can split frequencies the highs the lows and all that so it's a very good um plugin that is just going to smoothen up your vocals and uh your sharp uh, sharp vocals and make sure that this is set to on effect on don't set it to off a lot of people just put it all to off and then they try to you know uh but you have to put it on for it to work so now that we have it on let us take a listen to this vocal once again so watch watch what is gonna listen to what is gonna happen the moment i try to take the attack up a little bit the attack the the voice the vocal is just gonna sound a little bit sharper so here we go Gotta get praising God with my hands up. I gotta get praising God with my hands lift. I gotta get praising God no matter what happens to me. I gotta get of course, that's a little bit extreme, but um, what I want to show you guys is that this can control how how sharp you want your vocals to sound and how smooth you want your vocals to sound. So let me take it to a place where I feel like the vocals are the vocals are okay. So. I gotta get praising God with my hands up. I gotta get praising God with my hands lift. I gotta get praising God no matter what happens to me. I gotta get praising God. Gotta get praising God no matter what happens to me. I gotta get praising God. I gotta get praising God with. And then uh, let me take this split to to a thousand hertz. Gotta get praising God with my hands up. So about 25 hertz sounds smooth and much better and um the gain the volume can you can increase or reduce a little bit like this Get praising God, 
And of course, this is like sustaining uh, the reverb and everything, the, the plugin. So I love to set it maybe just on the middle or a little bit on 33.7%. Uh, Surely it's like um, it, on this part, 33% is much better transparent. And of course you can see how it is working on those transients so it's a transient processor plugin that is just gonna help uh, those transients to uh, sound better and to sound well your vocal to just sound good so go ahead and use this plugin and your vocals are just gonna sound better in FL studio if this video has helped you don't forget to uh, like it and uh, make sure you watch the next video. I'll see you in the next